Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to link your DPO account to your Zoho book system. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is create credentials so that you can link your Zoho system to your DPO account. To do that you're going to need to follow the link sent to you by DPO and create a user. Once registered, log in with your user. Once logged in, move your mouse to the top right corner of the screen and click the Add Record button. Once the pop-up shows, there will be three fields here, one for your DPO Merchant Account ID, one for your DPO Merchant Key or Merchant Secret, and one for a Zoho key which you are going to create in this video. The first thing to do is fill in your DPO Merchant ID and Merchant Secret. Now the Zoho key can be anything, but we do recommend that you don't make it the same as your DPO Merchant key. Make sure you copy the Zoho key to a safe location because you're going to need it later to integrate your Zoho books with DPO. Below that is a Use Notify toggle which must be set to on and once you've verified all the info, click Add Record. Once successful, the screen will show and click Continue. It should be noted that you can only use a DPO key once on the site per Zoho secret. So if you're wanting to integrate multiple Zoho sites, you will need multiple merchant IDs from DPO. Make note of the merchant account ID and Zoho secret because we will make use of it later. The next step to do is to log into your Zoho Books dashboard. Once logged in, you will see a screen similar to this. Next, you're going to open the install installation link in the PDF sent to you by DPO. When opened, this screen will show. In the drop down under Select Organization, you're going to select the organization you're installing this extension to, click the Agree to Terms and Conditions checkbox, then click Install Extension. Once installed, navigate back to this dashboard, mouse over the Settings gear, click on it, scroll down, and click on Online Payments. On the Online Payments page, look for the connected payment gateway called Paygate and click Edit Settings. In here, you're going to put in your Paygate ID and the Zoho encryption key or Zoho secret that you saved from earlier. Once done, click Save. And your DPO account should now be integrated with Zoho Books. But let's quickly run a test to make sure that it's working. To do that, go back to your dashboard, go down to Sales, move your mouse next to Invoices, you'll see a plus. Click on that. Under Customer Name, select your own name or create a new test customer account for the purpose of this test. Under item details use any random test item and below that there will be quite a few payment gateway options so uncheck all of them except for Paygate because that's the one we're testing. Then under email too make sure that your own email is added in there if it hasn't been added already you can do that by clicking add new and adding your email address. Make sure only your email address is checked here then click save and send. Then scroll down to the bottom, it'll ask if you want to attach the PDF invoice, you can if you want to, and click send. In doing so, it creates the invoice for you. Once the email arrives in your inbox, click on the pay now button to test it. This page should show, and then click on Paygate as the payment gateway option. If the integration is successful, you should see your registered name through DPO at the top of the screen. Below that you'll see the references and the correct transaction amount. After that, you simply need to select the payment type and continue the tests. That's all there is to it. Thank you and good luck.